Hi, I'm Vashish, a research scientist in the Core Data Science Group at Facebook. Today, I'll be talking about stochastic bandage for multi-platform budget optimization in online advertising. His joint work with my colleagues, Ricardo, Karthik, Oka, who are all research scientists at Facebook, and Stefano, a visiting faculty from Sapienza University in Rome. I'll follow the rough outline for this talk. First, I'll present the motivation for the multi-platform budget optimization problem from the perspective of online advertising. Then I'll discuss the precise problem formulation that is based on multi-arm bandits. I'll briefly spend some time on related work and elaborate on why some of the existing literature cannot be generalized to solve this problem. Finally, I'll present our solution, which is based on the seminal bandits with NAPFAX work, and conclude the talk with some numerical simulations that show practical relevance of our solution. For the motivation, consider the problem of online advertising. As online advertising has proliferated, ad campaigns have moved from ad hoc bidding for individual users to campaigns that try to reach massive audience, all while respecting marketing budgets. In recent years, businesses had to manage ad campaigns across a diverse portfolio of platforms, products, and these platforms typically have different user base, competition, and naturally advertising dynamics. For example, it is common for a business, say Coca-Cola, to manage an advertising campaign across a multitude of platforms. A music streaming platform like Spotify, social network like Facebook, news website like New York Times, e-commerce websites like Amazon and Instacart, et cetera. Each of these venues have their unique user characteristics and bring in their own corresponding advertising dynamics. What makes it challenging to manage such an ad campaign across platforms is that businesses typically don't know the effectiveness of ads in each platform. Clearly, they need to learn the advertising dynamics for each platform. Here, they know how much they value an individual click, but however, they do not know how likely a user is going to click on any given ad on any given platform. They need to constantly learn this information. Furthermore, what makes what becomes challenging here is that the firms are tied down by a single, single overall budget constraint. And the firms have to learn how to optimally distribute this budget across various platforms. How much do you spend on media websites? How much do you spend on social networking? And how much do you spend on YouTube and et cetera? Motivated by this above example, we consider the multi-platform budget optimization in online advertisements. More specifically, we want to design a policy to allocate a pre-specified budget of an advertiser across multiple platforms, as well as time periods, optimally when the advertising dynamics as well as value for an ad slot is unknown. So before I talk further, let me specify the exact details of our model. So consider for the sake of simplicity in discussion, consider one single ad campaign and M platform. So one platform could be Amazon, and, and the platform could be YouTube, and the M platform could be Facebook. Uh, as an ad campaign manager, you typically bid, submit M bits, one bid per platform. Similarly, each platform would also receive competing bids from other campaigns for the same ad slot. Again, for the sake of simplicity, we'll assume every platform has only has one ad slot, which is not true in reality. Uh, denote the largest competing bid apart from us, by P, T of I, here I represent platform I, T represent the time period in which we are bidding. We will assume second price auctions here. More specifically, if our bid is higher than the largest competing bid, we win that auction for that particular ad slot and that the campaign pays the highest competing price and collects the reward, which is the value corresponding to the ad slot. Furthermore, in our model, we assume that we do not observe the competing bids directly but only observe if we have won the option on any platform and the corresponding rewards for displaying that ad in that particular platform. So consider the following example, say our bid is higher than the competing bid only on platform one, but lower for the rest of the platforms in this particular hypothetical example, we only display our ad on platform one and pay the highest competing bid for that particular platform in this particular case, it is P underscore one T, and we will collect a reward of V underscore one T associated with displayed uh, ad in the platform one, and our budget is depleted by P one of T. We repeat this process at each time step, 
either till we completely deplete our budget or we run out of the time horizon. Say if it's a seasonal ad running for Christmas, once the Christmas season is over, your time is running out. So a natural objective here is to maximize the aggregative rewards for an ad campaign over all the platforms and over all the time periods without exceeding the specified budget. In our model, we assume that these rewards and competing prices can be modeled by a fixed but unknown distribution. So sure, there's some randomness in a platform's competing bids, as well as the value you get for ad, but we we'll make an assumption for the sake of theoretical exercise that this can be modeled through a stochastic stationary distribution. So to summarize under our assumptions, we have to learn the reward and competing bid distributions to maximize the cumulative reward. So many of you might be thinking such problems can be typically modeled in a multi unbounded framework. And yes, and that is precisely what we'll be doing in this work. Multi M bandits are extensively studied and used in the context of maximizing cumulative reward while simultaneously learning model parameters. In our settings, the rewards correspond to the value of displaying an ad on a particular platform, and the model parameters are the reward and competing bid distributions. For a natural framework to study our problem, there are several challenges in naively extending existing methods for our problem. Before we go into these challenges, let me go give you an overview of related literature. A quick disclaimer, unfortunately, both multi unbanded problems as well as optimal bidding policies in online advertising have been extensively studied in various settings. Therefore, I cannot do an exhaustive literature survey in the limited time and will only cover very closely related line of work. The first line of work in this problem deals with a single platform setting where the value for an ad is known in each round. In this setting, the focus is on pacing the overall budget to maximize the cumulative reward. In particular, they don't want to deplete the budget in the early stages and want to ensure that we pace, up, pace ourselves uniformly so that we don't miss out on much more promising options that come down the lane once the budget is depleted. To just remind our platform, we have unknown valuations and we have multiple platforms. The second line of work deals again with a single platform setting, but here the valuations are unknown, much more closer to our setting, but there is no budget constraint. They, these line of work typically formulate this as a stochastic bandit with partial feedback. You're partial because you only get feedback on auctions or slack ad slots you win, but no feedback on the auctions you did not win. The literature here focuses on maximizing cumulative rewards. And the last line of work, it's much more closer to our exact problem. Here we see with again, single platform setting, there's a budget constraint and there's a known valuation. Focus is to learn while trying to maximize cumulative rewards. Unfortunately, the multi-platform setting of our problem makes it harder to generalize any of these approaches. In particular, since all the platforms are constrained by a single budget, one needs to figure out how to optimally divide the budget across platforms. Typically, this is it has to be done a priori before the auction without knowing the effectiveness of how good each platform is. You cannot be able to correct it later. So for our solution, we will leverage the seminal bandits with knapsacks developed by Ashwin uh, and Alex Levkins. This has been developed in the context of traditional multi unbanded problems. In the traditional bandits with knapsack, every time the decision maker plays an arm, they'll deplete a resource. The goal is to keep picking arms that will provide the largest cumulative reward before resources are depleted. So an, an arm can have multiple resources. If any one of the resources is depleted, the problem ends. The key idea in this paper is to pick the best bank per buck arm that is the highest reward to cost ratio. If the true reward distribution and cost distribution is known, sorry, cost distribution is known a priori, then the optimal decision would be to play the arm with the highest ratio of expected reward to expected cost. However, when these distributions are unknown, then we can rely on approaches like UCB or Thompson sampling and indeed play the arm with highest reward to cost ratio as measured by their optimistic estimates. So they replace the true rewards, which we don't know by an optimistic estimates that follows traditional bandit literature and pick the arm with the highest ratio of these estimates. Well, many of you think we can naturally frame our problem in this generic framework with budget as our resources. Or as a resource, we should note that naive generalization of existing approach 
would result in a combinatorial number of arms. More specifically, consider a setting like we don't not only have to decide how much we need to bid, but on which of the M platforms we need to bid. So like, for example, consider the setting where we have M platforms, we can select among N potential bids, then the campaign has a possibility of N over M possible bid combinations. If you consider each of the combination as an arm, the number of arms is exponentially large. A key contribution of our work is to like present a tractable way of extending this Bangor Park approach to identify the best subset of platforms to bid and how much to bid on each platform and show that the additional complexity of multi-platform uh, bidding won't necessarily lead to poor performance. So we, in this particular work, we formulate the best arm selection problem as an integer program and show that the linear relaxation of this integer program is tight. This therefore results in a tractable algorithm to identify the best bang per buck combination for bidding over platforms at any given time period. So I'm skipping the math in interest of time. I will recommend the interested listeners to look at the exact formulation and the algorithm in the paper. And I'll skip to theoretical results. Assuming M platforms, N bids per platform, and T time periods, this is the whole, uh, each time period you can bid one bid per platform, and a total budget of B dollars, our regret can be bounded as O of opt square root MN by B plus square root MN opt. Here, opt is the optimal value of the reward. Had we known the true valuations, of an ad slot per platform and the competing price distributions. It should be noted that in online advertising settings, given the low click rates, it is reasonable to assume, or it is the, rather the interesting case, the op is substantially smaller than both the budget and the time horizon. And in those particular settings, our regret is naturally small enough. We also prove a lower bound for the problem where we show that any online algorithm must incur a regret of O of square root M op. M is a number of platforms, op again is the optimal value of the reward had we known the valuations and competing prices. Almost nearly optimal. In this particular result, we assume that we only have N discrete bids to bid on. However, in the paper, we also have a extensions where you don't need to bid from N discrete set of bids, but a continuous spectrum of bids. We refer the interested readers to the paper. Finally, we show some talk about some numerical simulations where we simulate three budget constrained advertisers and up to on 10 platforms based on real world data set. So we construct this data set based on logs of large internet advertising company. Based on the nature of bidding system, we have a good understanding of true valuations. We generated the simulated bids for each advertiser based on the estimated true valuation and run our algorithm for uh, 100,000 time periods for a wide range of platform numbers and the budget values. First, we study the cumulative reward as a function of budget. And we can see the, as I mentioned earlier, the small budget is the case which is really interesting. We find that in the small budget case, our algorithm substantially outperforms, but as budget increases, other algor existing algorithms catch up. Similarly, the other interesting case, again, uh, a reward as a function of number of platforms, in the, when the number of platforms are small, as discussed earlier, the existing work, existing literature works fairly well. But as number of platforms increases substantially, our algorithm outperforms much better. Finally, uh, we also look at when does typically the budget gets depleted. Our algorithm is the case where the budget never gets depleted and we uniformly pace, whereas the existing algorithms deplete their budget much, much earlier. To summarize, we frame the multi-platform multi budget optimization problem as a bandwidth with knapsacks, provide tractable algorithm, establish strong theoretical guarantees, show that empirically our algorithm outperforms, and has a key desirable property of properly pacing the budget across till the end of the time period. We refer the interested readers or listeners to the paper. Thank you.